We're nearly there. It's Wednesday of Holy Week. This is the day when we remember Judas' decision to betray Jesus. Our readings today encourage us to keep our eyes on Jesus, setting our faces like flint, trusting in God to help us as we walk with him. The events that we remember this week of Jesus' journey to the cross will be depressing and meaningless if it wasn't for the joy and victory of Easter Sunday when we celebrate his resurrection. But for today, we think of Jesus. We think of the fact that one of his closest disciples, one of his friends, betrayed him. Judas took his eye off the ball and betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He had walked alongside Jesus for three years and had seen and heard all that he had done. But Jesus knew. He knew who it was and he said to Judas, what you're about to do, do it quickly. It had to be. Jesus' eyes were fixed on the cross and he knew what was about to happen. I want to focus our attention today on the verses from Hebrews 12, verses 1 to 3. Let me read them for us from the Passion Translation, which might be a translation not too familiar to some of us. It says this, As for us, we have all of these great witnesses who encircle us like clouds. So we must let go of every wound that has pierced us and the sin we so easily fall into. Then we will be able to run life's marathon race with passion and determination. For the path has already been marked out before us. We look away from the natural realm as we fasten our gaze onto Jesus, who birthed faith within us and who leads us forward into faith's perfection. His example is this. Because his heart was focused on the joy of knowing that you would be his, he endured the agony of the cross and conquered its humiliation and now sits exalted at the right hand of the throne of God. So consider carefully how Jesus faced such intense opposition from sinners who oppose their own souls so that you won't become worn down and cave in under life's pressures. You see, there was a joy for Jesus in facing these last days, knowing the plan, knowing that he was ful fulfilling his purpose and that he would rise again to break the curse of sin and death. His face was set like flint on the prize of being back in glory with God. So as we walk these last few days in the wilderness with Jesus, what do you want to say to him today? Do you want to bow at his feet in worship? What would you do if he was here beside you, wherever you're sitting right now? What do you think he might say to you? Be encouraged today by these words from the writer of Hebrews. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses and we need to let go of what is keeping us bound and entangled in our lives. That could be old habits. It could be long-standing routines that bind us. Firm, fixed opinions without being open to change. Let me encourage you today to talk to Jesus about your life and to fix your eyes on him who leads us forward. Let's pray together. Beautiful Saviour, glorious in your righteousness, we pray for the ability to be constantly faithful to you. We pray that we will have the power to cast off everything that entangles us and stops us from fixing our gaze fully on you. Help us not to be sidetracked by the things of life that would distract us from living fully in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you endured the agony of the cross to bring us life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.